Good day, everyone. Welcome to the first lesson of Drazel Notes. This is where learning continues. Today, we are going to discuss one of the many fears of people nowadays. It is a fear that we know, yet we cannot fully understand. This is stage fright. According to George Jessel, an American actor, the human brain is a wonderful thing. It starts working the moment you are born and never stops until you stand up to speak in public. Just imagine how difficult public speaking is that your brain will actually refuse to function. But is public speaking really that bad? Or are we just misunderstanding it? Look at this picture. Have you ever experienced feeling this? This is a common scenario whenever I would ask my students for an impromptu or extemporaneous speech. You may have also felt the same way when you were chosen to be the host of a program in your company. This is stage fright. Stage fright is the anxiety fear, or persistent phobia, which may be aroused in an individual by the requirement to perform in front of an audience, whether actually or potentially. Jerry Seinfeld, an American comedian, once said, If you go to a funeral, you're better off in a casket than doing the eulogy. Why is this so? 2014 Chapman University Survey on American Fears explains this. With fear of public speaking that has been rated as the number one fear in America. Some say it is more feared than death. So if you have this fear, you share it with millions and millions of people. A phobia is an unreasonable fear, and it may be called by many names. Stage fright, speech anxiety, shyness, fear of speaking, performance anxiety, or speech phobia, all boils down to one term, stage fright. Stage fright works this way. Look at this infographic. The more times you practice, the higher the quality of performance you would have. That on the final performance, it's almost perfect. But when stage fright attacks, your actual performance will just flop. No matter how many times you memorized, it may also be a problem. What happens when you have to speak in public? These are the symptoms of stage fright. Even if you memorized a lot of things, the fear would somehow eat up all this information and will leave your mind black. The first symptom is mental blackout. Second, heart beats faster than usual. It's as if your heart will pop out of your chest. Three, blood rushing to your head and cheeks. You will be very, very red when this happens. Your face will really feel very hot and will seem to burst any time. Shortness of breath. You don't have asthma, but it would feel that way. Butterflies in stomach feels. This is a feeling that is difficult to explain. You don't really know what's happening inside your belly. Perspiring more than usual. You may even be in an air-conditioned room, but you will really be sweaty. Loss of voice. Suddenly, 
no matter how hard you try, no voice would really come out. It's as if you lost it for good. Dry mouth. Even if you have drank numerous glasses of water before the speech, it would still not work. Tight throat. It's as if your throat suddenly contracts and you're having a hard time swallowing or even breathing. Sweaty hands. Your hands will really be very wet because of perspiration. Becoming shaky. Your knees, lips, hands, and sometimes even your entire body will become very shaky. What's worse is that your audience may see that you are trembling. Nausea. The feeling of nausea, I think, is the most or the worst symptom of stage fright because this may really result to a big problem. Then, if you experienced all these things or some of these things, you are hereby diagnosed with stage fright. So now, let us know the truth about stage fright. First, most people experience stage fright. You are not alone. It is very common. People of all ages may feel it. People of all professions may experience it. I repeat, it's not only for students, it's also for professional people. Number two, stage fright affects many people in different ways. Some symptoms may appear to you and some symptoms may not. For other people, all symptoms would apply to them. What causes stage fright? Let us discuss this one by one. Inadequate preparation is number one. You may not really be prepared for the task. Did you prepare the night before? Or did you cram? Or a week before, perhaps? But then you did not study it before the speech? These are all signs of inadequate preparation. Next, fear of being judged. You are afraid of committing mistakes and not be appreciated by others. Of course, no one would like to be laughed at. Okay? And since this is the common scenario when people are committing mistakes, you are very afraid to feel that. Unfamiliarity with the environment. You don't know the people around you and it may also be that it's your first time in the place. So if you are unfamiliar, of course, that would also cause anxieties. Lack of knowledge about public speaking. You may have little or no knowledge at all. You don't know how to do it. You don't know how to start public speaking. Or you don't even know how it goes. Feeling of inadequacy is also a cause of public speaking fright. A lot of people would always feel that they can't do it, that they are not worthy of that experience, or that they must be perfect and do not ever commit mistakes, or they're not good enough and that nobody loves them. And of course, we also have negative past experiences that may affect our present experience. You may also not be able to move on from some bad things in the past. And fear of the unknown. You're just afraid and you don't really know why or who or which are you afraid of. 
What makes speaking in front of a large crowd so scary? Let's explain the scientific basis. This is best explained by Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution. He once went to a zoo and conducted an experiment. He pressed his face as close as possible to the thick glass separating him from a poisonous puff eater. He found that every time the snake would launch at him, he would instinctively jump back several feet. This is known as the fight or flight response. It's a physiological reaction to perceived threats, which is designed to prepare an animal to either flee from danger or fight it. Possibilities of losing our reputations or not being accepted through public speaking are scary enough to trigger a fight or flight response in our bodies, causing all the outward symptoms we dislike so much. Now, the big question is, how will you overcome stage fright? First, use the realistic appraisal. Instead of saying, I can't do it, try saying, I can do it. Okay? Try to be a little positive and push yourself a little. Be extremely well prepared. Do not procrastinate and do not ever sleep without preparing for something big as this public speaking engagement organize your notes be a good note taker use an outline for your speech and make sure that you can also ask somebody to check it for you so that you won't miss out anything Memorize the opening statement, at least just the opening statement, because memorizing the whole speech will also be not a good thing. Of course, we always say this, practice, practice, practice. Yawn to relax your voice. This will exercise your vocal muscles. Breathe deeply, evenly, and slowly for a few minutes. This will relax you. Concentrate on how good you are. Be positive. Love yourself. Close your eyes and imagine the audience applauding and laughing. This will relax your brain. If your legs are trembling, lean on a lectern or table so you can shift your legs or move about. Make eye contact. Now, I am giving you a clue on this or a tip for this one. If you think that the eyes of your audience are giving too much emotions that would bother you, then I suggest you look at their forehead. It's nearer to the eye, so the others will think that you're looking at their eyes, but you're actually looking at the forehead, and it would not really give that much of, uh, emotion that would bother you. Speak a little louder than usual, although a lot of times you have a microphone for this, but somehow the vocal muscles will be uh, exercised by doing a little louder volume for speaking. Of course, enunciate. Whatever medium you are using, whether it's English or a different language, make sure that you will pronounce all the words clearly because the goal of communication is for you to be understood. If your audience will not understand the words that you are saying, then the speech will not be that good and your audience will not really listen. And lastly, believe in yourself. This is the most important tip on how you will overcome stage fright. Before others will believe in you, believe in yourself first. 
try to be positive about yourself. Say that you can do it and that the task given to you is something that you can achieve and everything else that is good will follow. Remember that if you will be feeling like this again, practice will take you from this, but if you follow all the steps that I have given and really understood the stage fright that you are feeling, you will turn to this. I hope you learned something new from Drazel Nose, and on your next speaking engagement, a project for school, or a company activity, I wish you all good luck. For the references, here are the following. Thank you very much. I hope we will see each other on our next lesson.